well as the leadership tussle for who becomes Senate President of the 10th Senate continues. A group under the platform of Arawa Initiative for Good Governance has endorsed Simsani Musa. The Northern-based group says competence should come first before the other criteria. The group also kicked against zoning of the Senate presidency to a particular region or religion, adding that what should determine the next president of the Senate is character and nation building. It noted that the unity and peace of the country, especially in the aftermath of the 2023 general elections, largely depends on the National Assembly and its leadership that will be saddled with the responsibility of leading the healing process and rebuilding the mutual trust among various aggrieved divides across the country. Dr. Sani has an intimidating and much desired academic accomplishment. He is a practitioner in the management of conflict resolution. He has an international degree in conflict resolution from a prestigious university which he combines seamlessly with local experience to give him an edge. As a second time senator, with cumulative 40 bills to his credit, the senator deserves to lead the 10th Senate. We at the Ariwa Initiative for Good Governance endorses him for the Senate presidency over and above all. You no, know, I believe that the All Progressive Congress APC not to believe in the rule of law, which uh, each and every Nigerian knows this. So our um, most concern, uh, bearing our name, our Arawa Initiative for Good Governance, we are to promote good governance in all ramifications. Sentiment, whether APC to position or not to position, but what we believe is the leadership of the National Assembly have to be someone with a strong mind who believes in one Nigeria and who will unify the National Assembly. So we are not taking or we are not uh, endorsing Senator Sani Musa based on his name, 313, no. But we are endorsing Sani Musa being him as a senator from Niger who did well as a first-timer in the National Assembly.